in South of the Ireland versus Zimbabwe match. We've got the skip of the winning side, Zimbabwe Graham Cream. I'm going to start off with come start from the front here. Yeah. Right from the center of Creams. Looks like you guys can defend anything, is it? Is that the talk in the, the changing room? Yeah, that's what we said when we actually came out. We, we know we can defend low totals. Um, you know, it, it was brilliant today. First of all, to get to 210, I mean, we could have easily been bowled out for 160 there. Miraza was excellent again with the bat, held the innings together and got us to some somewhat of a respectable total. And then, you know, our bowlers were sensational today. Um, Jeff from Capital FM. Are you concerned about the fluctuation in batting performance, especially in the top and the middle order? I think throughout the tournament, you know, we have had our, our dips in the batting. The wickets haven't been the, the, the easiest to bat on. We have had a few soft dismissals. Um, but, you know, we, we know it just takes one or two guys to fire. Uh, we, we know these wickets, probably 240, 250 or par scores, you know, were a bit below par today. but. You know, not, not too worried. Guys, guys know that they, they that they've made a few mistakes in the next few games, but guys are hungry to get out there and score runs, and, and that's all you can ask for. So you know, we'll hopefully be better in the, in the next couple of games. Uh, uh, Graham, uh, Raza is the mid in the last two or so years as a very important player for you. I mean, uh, does sometimes does he feel the pressure weighing down on him sometimes, and how how do you manage him? How do you keep him motivated every time to come up and uh, put up performances like this? Yeah, I I don't really have to motivate him. He he's he's one of the guys that you know he really wants to do well all the time. You know, he, he loves performing on the big stage. Um, he's been a huge asset for us. You know, the last two years with the bat and with the ball in the field. So he's that all-round cricketer. Uh, and he comes in time and time again. And, you know, definitely my man of the match today. You know, that knock he played to get us into that sort of position. We knew anything over 200 we could probably defend. But we would, would have needed to bowl well, which we did. Elo from Sky's Metro. Congrats, keep on winning. Getting out to defend 211 what was your words to your bowlers? They seem to be bowling quite tight lines. Yeah, we, we planned a lot yesterday, you know, on how we wanted to bowl to them, but you still have to come out and execute. And, you know, the, the way the guys came out, Javi bowled nicely up front with the new ball. They, they didn't get away, and Chisoro was excellent again. You know, he's been on the bench for a long time, and he's come in the last two games, and he's, and he's picked up three wickets in, in each, and opening the bowling, which is not easy. So. You know, credit to him, he, he's been excellent. But, you know, it was, it was just a, probably a performance uh, of my career in terms of in the field. Sometimes we let it slip when we out there, but today, you know, we just yeah, knocked the nail in the coffin, so it was excellent. Methodism papers. Just looking at the big one against uh, West Indies on uh, Monday. Do you think that? Uh, do you guys feel that uh, this is a big one that will define? I mean, uh, t determine whether Zim qualifies for the World Cup or not? Yeah, give us a really good chance to qualify if we can beat the West Indies. Um, but our, our, our main goal in the in the tournament, right from the beginning, was to go through the tournament unbeaten. So we're going to take each each game as it comes, and you know it'll be be a real setback if we lose a game you know we, we, we don't we don't want to lose a game in this tournament um, we feel like we're playing good enough cricket and you know with the crowd behind us and in our home conditions you know if we play good cricket we shouldn't we shouldn't lose a game so we we're hoping we can carry that forward uh, through the rest of the tournament but yeah de definitely a big game against West Indies but you know we, we're playing well also so I reckon it'll be a, a good game Kudzai, ICC TV, congratulations on the win. Um, what is the role of Sifas Juwawa at the top of the order? I mean, from in this game and going forward? Yeah, he, he only, he's very one-dimensional. He, he's got a great eye for the ball and he can hit it a, a long way as well as Solomon. But, you know, that first 10 overs I feel is quite crucial in, in one-day cricket, that power play. You know, we want to try and take full advantage of that and try and give us give, give ourselves a foundation for our middle order to to 
to bat the rest of the overs. You know, it's it's sometimes hit or miss, but you know, if it, if it comes off, it makes it so much easier for our middle guys. You know, Brendan and Ross and and slug to to knock it around so we're just hoping you know either of them come off if both of them come off that's that's great but you know he's got full license to to play his game out there in in sean from zfm in blower you talked about uh, no uh, in terms of catches that you guys want to improve on catches not drop catches today what is it about this team that's making you guys want to just improve and keep on improving yeah no actually going to england next year is is you know, motivation enough. Um, you know, just you know, and where we're sitting on the table now, it's you know, we 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 so close, and it's you know, we we don't want to let anything slip. You know, we don't want an over to go by or an hour to go by where we where we think uh, let things slip a bit. So, you know, we're really motivated to try and qualify, and you know, but our, our main thing is to try and win in, win every game. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully that carries on. Munyala Zamazokere, the the standard. Uh, I wanted to ask you. Uh, you seem to be able to pull pull uh, wins out of a difficult situation. What can you say about the morale and the mood in the um, in the in the in the team? And what would be the attitude now going uh, going to play um, West Indies? Yeah, confidence and morale very very high at the at the moment. You know we. We've had a couple of tough games in Bulawayo there where, you know, potentially on another day it would not have gone our way. But just the, the fight and the belief from the guys that, you know, we always one wicket away from, from winning a game or, or getting stuck into their tail or, you know, but the, the belief the guys have and, you know, they've showed it and even today again. And we'll do the same thing against West Indies and, and UAE. Um, yeah, I, I can't say more about that. Guys, really confident and you know hungry to do well and, and win games. Okay, thank you very much, Skipper, and all the best for the rest of the competition. Ireland versus Scotland on uh, Sunday. So.